Hey y'all, this is Connor with part two of the pop-up of my creations. This one will go a little faster and uh, y'all know how to do this. If you're a new customer and you're buying, please email me at ccollection at yahoo.com with your PayPal and ship it info. I'll put the email in the description below and the um, shipping will be from $5 to $8 depending on what and how much you buy. Um, make a comment below with what you, what your uh, selections are and um, Do not edit your comments. If you come across something else you're interested in, just make another comment. That way you're not taken out of the timestamp and miss out on something you really like. This uh, number 10, piece number 10, is a 34-inch glass, glass beaded necklace uh, of various sizes and a 3-quarter inch pendant. In the past, I've showed this and called it my coffee piece that, that just looks like coffee with a lot of cream and sugar in it to me. It is a great fall piece. Uh, a couple of the beads have that black in them. And uh, these are glass. These big ones are glass. These are acrylic, um, acrylic spacers. And then... These are glass, and the hearts are glass, and the heart and the pendant on the bottom is a glass puffed heart. And it has a uh, lobster claw clasp in gold tone. Very fall. It look good on brown or black. On an orange shirt. Red shirt. All different colors. And it's, again, it's 34 inches long with a 3 quarter inch um, glass puffed heart pendant. And it is number 10 and it's $8. And again, I've misplaced a baggie, so we'll get one from down here. And y'all forgive me for not showing myself, but I have a bad cold that, um, with my allergies has not left me looking the best. My eyes water at the least little bit thing and makeup goes everywhere so I'm not wearing it. And uh, my face is kind of puffy and my eyes are kind of puffy. I haven't been sleeping well because I start coughing and hacking at the least little bit. And this weather going from hot to cold back and forth keeps me from not being able to keep the temperature correct all night long. This next piece is very fall. It's got some acrylic beads and some um, crystal beads and some um, metal filigree beads and it's um, where's the card go? It is a 24 inch necklace. It does have seed beads, or actually uh, small bugle beads at the top. It has a little dingle dangle at the top. With a lobster claw clasp. And there is the colors, gold, and P 
peaches and pink. Those pearl beads are kind of a peachy peach and the gold filigree. And uh, these acrylic beads look kind of like stone. There's one. And, and that's acrylic. Actually, flat out plastic with the seams there on them. Recycled, so I doubt they're they're real amber. Um, but this necklace and these little dangly earrings. And this set is $10, and it is number 11. Okay, and number 12. is a $20 set. It's got glass and acrylic and actually the I'm not sure what the pendant's made out of. I don't think it's stone chips. I think they're acrylic too, but it does have some crystals down it. There's metal spacers in it and it is 24 inches long with a 2 inch pendant. The bracelet is 8 inches long and it does have a pair of earrings to go with it. There's the pendant. I think these are acrylic chip beads. I got the pendant in um, a craft lot that I got if I'm not mistaken. And there are the beads glass. These are acrylic and I wanted to throw a little bit of blue in to bring out some of the blue in the pendant there, right there. But it's mostly green. Woo. It has a lots of claw cast. And mostly glass and beads up in the yellowish green and olive greens. Pillows. Some kind of off white there. Those are the faceted acrylic beads. And some key nut cubes, but. Well, I don't know what to call it. And the earring, the bracelet, are just the square glass beads and crystals. A couple of green spacers on each, the one on each end with the crystals. And then the earrings are these little dangles. Crystals and glass. And this set.
is $20 and it is number 12. And this necklace is a three strand necklace. And actually, I did not design this. It was just already like this. It is a, a short, shortest strand of 16 inches, then 18 inches, and then 20 inches. And I just put the chain at the top with a spring ring clasp because it had a really thin suede cord or strap, it wasn't even a cord, it was a, about an inch wide, but it was real thin and it didn't take much to tear. So I just put a chain on it and that's very ball like It's uh, uh, acrylic and ceramic mostly. Some that looks like stone. Might be glass. And this is six dollars. That's more of a repair job than. And it is number 13. The rest of these sets are stone. This one is number 14, and number 14 is, I am thinking this is adventuring and hematite, and um, I'm not real sure what the purple stones are, I'm sure they're just um, dyed. These stones were bought and sent to me by Lynn B. And uh, the hematite necklace was a necklace I took apart and restrung it with the stones. Put the two stones in the middle and a CB bell. has a uh, good metal uh, toggle clasp which you can extend it a little bit and it is 20 inches long with the 5 inch pendant and the bracelet is 8 inches long and then there's the the earrings and this set being number 14 is $25 and that is stone and hematite with gunmetal findings
This is a 24 inch necklace and an eight, eight and a half inch bracelet with earrings. This pendant and the dark blue stones are so delight sent to me by Lynn B. Very generous woman. These little chips are so delight chips. What I believe is so delight chips. Uh, um, sent to me out of uh, some beads by MS. Um, Dwayne at MSP, and um, these are small so light beads sent to me also by Lynn B, and then the little uh, crystal bicones and metals. Uh, I'm not real sure where I got them. And then it has this really pretty toggle. And the pendant is uh, about an inch and a half, an inch between an inch and a quarter, inch and a half. The bracelet, same stones. And it has a lobster claw sort of clasp, like a lobster claw, with the heart that has different stuff on it. And I designed two different kinds of earrings, and my son and had my son look at them, and he said these were the best looking pair so this set is $25 being so light and crystal silver tone findings and this last set is um, that last one, the soda lot is number 15. This next piece is number 16, and it is um, uh, Carnelian Nuggets. The necklace is 26 inches long. The pendant is uh, 2 inches long. And the bracelet is 8 inches long. And this one, and this one has the carnelian... Uh, Hold on, hold on, we'll let you. See it in just a minute. Okay, the pendant, I believe I got that from Barbie Crafts. It is a Tree of Life wired up pendant with uh, carnelian uh, chips in it. The carnelian nuggets came from uh, friend's mail from Selena Lowe, who very generously sent me some beads and um, cabochons from 
uh, stuff she had from her dad and before he passed was they were going to start making jewelry. Um, and then the green is Kishi pearls that come off of a piece that I won in a uh, giveaway from uh, Cindy the Jewelry Nurse. Uh, there we go, and it's got silver tone chain at the top and a real pretty lobster claw. Or not lobster claw, but toggle clasp. And Here's the bracelet with the same toggle or same lobster or yeah toggle clasp as the necklace. And I got to put the other end back on. That's okay. I'm having problems out of my spring rings, and I don't have a pair of earrings. I've got the the oh yes, I do have them ready. Must be one of the other sets that I don't have ready yet. Okay, and here are the earrings. And this set will come to you in a, it's kind of heavy because it's stone, all stone, and the Kusu pearls don't weigh much, but the stone, these nuggets are, are a pretty good size. And it's going to cost at least eight dollars to ship it, and it costs twenty five dollars. And it is number sixteen. And then I have some earrings that y'all have seen before that I'm still trying to get rid of. Um, these will be $6 a piece. This first pair will be um, number 17. These are all acrylic with the Uh, crystal on the end there. Gold tone. And that's number 17. And it's $6. This is $6. And they are number 18 with the black with the gold paint on them with some CD spacers in uh, gold color. 
and they are Six dollars, and they are number eighteen. and acrylic really funky looking glass shaped beads the beads are an inch long they are glass and they got that caramel and chocolate top uh, smear in them with an acrylic bead on top those are six dollars. And they're number 19. And that is it for this time. Don't forget not to to put a comment below for your selections. And if uh, you would choose, decide to choose another selection, then do not edit your comment, just put a new comment down there so you don't lose out on anything because it will be done by timestamp. And um, uh, email me if you're a new buyer with your shipping and PayPal information. And until next time, uh, well, I'll be doing a pop-ups next week on some things from my own personal collection. And tomorrow, this sale ends tomorrow at uh, noon. I'll be invoicing tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow evening. And then you have till noon on Sunday to pay so that I can get, the, well, 5 p.m. on Sunday to pay so I can get everything packed up and ready to ship out on Monday because I have a busy week next week with winterizing my home and Thursday is uh, bill paying and shopping day and um, I have to get through the beads because I plan on selling some beads and some pendants that I've got going to be selling and uh, I need to get through them and I got some other ideas for things to make and I've got some things to strip and some things to repair and I just got a lot to do in the next couple of weeks and I've got to finish organizing this desk. It started a couple of weeks ago and I still haven't got it organized. The reason why I decided to get rid of some beads because all my bead containers are stuffed and I've got lots of trays filled with beads. Like that's the reds and ambers and uh, oranges up there. But I've got one for blue, one for green, one for white. You, you know, several going around. And I've got to get thinned out. Because most of it I have had for a while and I just don't know what to do with. So I'm going to start selling them. And um, until next time, I will talk to y'all later. Bye.